Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about the topic permutations and combinations. Guys, permutations and combination is very important topic for all competitive examinations uh, and also various entrance examinations like uh, gate, cat, all those examinations. Okay, so you have to learn this particular topic. Uh, why? Because uh, based on this topic, uh, if you know this topic, then only it is possible to solve the problems related to probability. So, probability and permutations and combinations, these two are interlinked chapters. So, first of all, uh, without knowing this uh, particular topic, it is not possible to solve the problems related to probability. Okay. Now, let's see what is permutation and what is combination. Before going to these two terms, uh, first of all, we have to know the concept of factorial. Concept of factorial. Before going to the definitions of permutations and combinations, uh, first of all, we need to learn about uh, what is meant by factorial concept. Here, let us take n factorial. Let us take n factorial. What is meant by n factorial? Here factorial is indicated with uh, this one. This is a factorial indication. n factorial is nothing but it is a continuous product of n natural numbers. It is a continuous product of uh, n natural numbers. Here these are the n natural numbers and the continuous product of n natural numbers which will give you n factorial. In the similar fashion, if you take any example, let us take a 3 factorial. 3 factorial means it is a continuous product of 3 natural numbers. It is a continuous product of 3 natural numbers. Suppose if you want to calculate 4 factorial, if you want to calculate 4 factorial, continuous product of 4 natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, natural numbers are always starts with 1. Natural numbers are always starts with 1. And uh, 5 factorial means continuous product of 5 natural numbers. Continuous product of how many natural numbers? 5 natural numbers. Uh, likewise, uh, you need to take whatever the number which is given in the problem. Based on that, you can uh, calculate accordingly. Right? This is a concept of uh, factorial. First, uh, if you know this concept, then it is very easy to understand the remaining things. Uh, First, we will discuss about what is permutation and uh, after that we will go for what is combination. Okay. Here, first of all, I will explain a few points related to these two, permutations and combinations. After that, we will discuss one by one in depth. Here, basically, permutation means, permutation means it is an arrangement. It is an arrangement. Whereas combination means it is a selection. Permutation means it is an arrangement. Whereas combination means it is a selection. Whenever we are arranging something, whenever we are arranging something, then we have to use the concept of uh, permutation. Whenever we are arranging something, whether those are uh, letters, numbers, persons, whatever it is. Here, whenever we are arranging something, then we have to use the concept of uh, permutation. And uh, when we are selecting something, when we are selecting something, then we have to use the concept of uh, combination. Okay. Here, arrangement is nothing but, uh, suppose for example, there are four chairs. There are four chairs. Uh, we need to arrange four persons. We need to arrange uh, four persons. Let us take the four persons are A, B, C, D. For simple understanding purpose, it is better to take uh, three persons and uh, three chairs. It is better to take three persons and uh, three places. Uh, three chairs are available. In how many ways you can arrange these three members in these three places? I will write one by one. I can arrange A, B, C in this manner. And I can arrange A, C, B. This is another. And uh, I can start with B. After that A and C. I can start with B. After that C and A. And one more possibility. 
start with C followed by AB, start with C followed by BA. If you observe carefully, in each and every case, in each and every possible case, order is different. Order. Here, the order when we are arranging something, order of the elements or persons or letters, whatever it is, order must be different. Order must be different. So, you have to see the order, whether the order is same or different. Order is same or different. If you observe carefully, here the three persons A, B, C. These are the three persons A, B, C or else if you take the letters, it doesn't matter. A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, B, A. All these six ways, all these six ways are entirely different from each other. Here, no particular way is uh, same. All the six uh, ways are different. That is the reason why we can arrange uh, these three members in the three chairs in three factorial ways. Three factorial is nothing but six ways. I already told you what is meant by factorial. Three factorial means it is a continuous product of three natural numbers. One into two into three which is equal to six. That will give you the exact answer. Okay. And here for the same example. For the same example, I will take the letters. I will take the letters A, B, C. Instead of C, instead of C, I will substitute A. Wherever uh, C is there, I will substitute A at that particular point. It means uh, I have three letters. I have three letters. Out of those three letters, A is uh, repeated twice. It means that C is equal to A. C is equal to A. Now I will substitute uh, C is equal to A in all these six ways. Once check it out, what is order? A, A, B. Second one. And third one, B, A, A. And next one, B, A, A. After that, A, A, B. And next, A, B, A. Now, if you observe carefully, A, B, A and next A, B, A. This is repeated two times. So, you should not take two times. Only one time you have to take. And next A, A, B and this is A, A, B. This is also repeated twice. So, you should not count two times. Only one time you have to take. Here, B, A, A, B, A, A, that is also repeated two times. So, you have to remove one time. So, out of all these uh, six ways, out of all these six ways, uh, only three ways are different. Only three ways are different. Uh, here, for the previous question, if the letters are different, if the letters are different, uh, you can arrange all the three letters in three places in three factorial ways that is six ways but whenever if you are arranging three letters in three places uh, out of those three letters uh, one letter is repeated twice or sometimes uh, same letter is repeated everywhere when in that case what you have to do is first of all uh, total how many letters are there three letters Three letters in general, we can arrange them in three factorial ways. And, uh, but here, what happened? One particular letter is repeated twice. So, you need to divide that value with uh, two factorial. Why? Because uh, how many times that particular value is repeated? With that value, you have to divide. Why? Because we are not counting the repeated numbers. That is the reason why. We have to divide. Suppose, for example, if there are, uh, suppose, for example, if you see, uh, let us take an example of uh, my name. B-H-A-R-A-T-H. -H. Here, if you observe carefully, total, we have seven letters. 
seven letters can be arranged in seven factorial ways there is no doubt in that but if you observe carefully a is repeated two times i have to divide with two factorial h is also repeated two times i have to divide with two factorial therefore number of ways are seven factorial by two factorial into two factorial that is the difference between uh, uh, letters are different uh, letters are not different uh, that is the difference uh, here suppose for example if there are n letters if there are n letters out of those n letters p are alike of same kind and uh, q are alike or same kind another kind r r like of and different kind in that case what we have to do is these n letters can be arranged in n factorial ways and uh, here p is repeated that is a reason why p factorial into q factorial into r factorial it is not about uh, only two or three it is all about how many letters are repeated and how many times it is repeated suppose for example if a is repeated three times uh, i have to divide with 3 factorial is it clear this is very important point uh, in permutations and combinations so many students are doing mistake uh, at this point only they will not divide with 2 factorial why because uh, here 3 letters are there and 3 places are there blindly they will keep the answer as 3 factorial but that is a wrong answer you have to divide with 2 factorial also okay so your answer is 3 uh, ways uh, here this is the concept of arrangement which is nothing but uh, permutation and now coming to the selection selection when we are doing selection when we are doing selection see i will tell you one small example see as we all know that cricket cricket team as we all know that the sport cricket in cricket game in cricket sport total 11 players will be there total 11 players will be there but uh, the captain have have a choice of selecting 11 members out of a squad of 15 out of a total squad of 15 uh, total squad here this value is total this total is 15 and uh, he has to pick only 11 he has to pick only 11 this is a selected members selected members and total members so 15 here the captain is selecting 11 players out of 15 players in that case you have to use combination in that case you have to use combination guys that is about combination in the next session i will explain uh, much more information regarding this permutations and uh, combinations uh, i hope you understand the session thank you thank you very much for watching